Um, I want my products. I've I've had a bit of, of conversations with people. They're mm-hmm. like, oh, you're so cheap. <laughs> no, seriously. I saw your prices that I'm like, you're so cheap. I want it to be accessible. <laughs> okay. That's initially why I started the business. Mm-hmm. Um, oh. If there's something that I love on my body, it's my natural crown. I'm talking about my hair. Today, I'll sit down with Zodi Digaseb, who is the founder and the director of African Naturals, an African brand that is bringing you African products for your hair right here in Namibia. I am your host, Sitch, and this is Africa Speaks. Today, we're going to be talking about all things hair and skin. So today, I'll sit down with Zodi D, and she'll tell us more about her products, her business, her brand, and of course, herself. Good afternoon and welcome to Africa Speaks. Thank you for having me. And thank you for accepting our invitation. Lovely. All right, as an icebreaker, we're just yes. going to start off by getting to know a little bit about you. So mm-hmm. who is Zodidi? Zodidi is a multipotentialite. Um, it's always a bit tricky because mm-hmm. I do so many things. Yeah. <laughs> but I am a mother, a entrepreneur, and a self-made com- cosmetics oh. manufacturer, oh. basically. Yes. Wow. And that's why we're here today, to talk about the cosmetics that you do, the mm-hmm. products that you do. African Naturals. Yes. Tell me about the inspiration behind the business. Um, I think a lot of people know the story, but I won't I tell don't. you those. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, but African Naturals was born, um, it's a passion project, right? So a couple of years ago, um, my daughter wanted to put chemicals in her hair. She wanted it nice and long and straight. And I don't have anything, disclaimer, I don't have anything against long and straight hair. Um, But I realized that everything that I do impacts her Mm -hmm. decision making as well. And so she was really my inspiration for starting African Naturals. And um, so I cut my hair and I, well, basically to show her that Mm -hmm. if I cut my hair and I learn how to love my hair, she can do the same. So that was basically how African Natural started. Okay, so at the, at the time, your hair was relaxed hair? Yes. Aha. Uh-huh. Yes. All right. So when, when did this all start now, the African Natural is now coming into reality? Well, initially it started in 2016, mm-hmm. but I really didn't take it as seriously as I should have. Um, yeah, it started in 2016 where I would make products from other products that I would find in, in stores. Mm-hmm. And then I realized that they were actually not products meant for my type of hair. And a friend of mine uh, came from Ivory Coast and she had like a little tub of, of shea butter. Yeah. And she's like, oh, try this out. And I tried it out and I was like, what is this magical thing? I absolutely love it. Mm-hmm. Um, can I get more of it? And I th- he started using it for my hair and for my skin. And as I got more of it, um, I started sharing it with my friends and family. They were basically like my guinea pigs. Yes. Because <laughs> you have to try it out Yes, somewhere. you have to, yeah. Uh, so they were trying it out and the reviews were fantastic. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I was like, wait, I can actually make a business from this. It doesn't yeah. just have to be my family and friends, my close-knit family and friends um, that are using these products. So mm-hmm. that's kind of how the business aspect of African Naturals since started. Okay, you mentioned that it was in 2016 when you had the whole idea. Yes. But when did you actually now like start having the product and having it as a business? In 2018, Mm -hmm. yes. It took me like a couple of years to figure out the business aspect and then also how to source material, what is safe to you. So it took me two years of a bit of research Mm -hmm. before I actually launched the product line. Okay, so you, you just mentioned now like source materials. Yes. Uh, speaking about the ingredients, what are some of the ingredients that you use in your products before we get to speak about the products themselves? Yes. So um, because I want to shape my business, so I've shaped my business towards a sustainable business and looking at different ecosystems, mm-hmm. um, I'm very particular and intentional about where I source my material. Yeah. So for instance, the share butter I source from a wom- woman co-op that is based in Ghana, and then they send it to South Africa to get tested, and then I get that share But It's a bit of a long process, yeah. but I'd rather do it in that that aspect. Yes. Um, and then also the other products that I, or raw materials that I put in my products, are Moringa, which we get here locally, so oh, Moringa okay. powder. 
um, Zimenia oil, locally known as Ombeke oil. Ah, that's yes. the English name. Yes, okay. Zimenia is like the scientific ah, <laughs> name okay. of it. Um, but then we use the cosmetic grade, not mm-hmm. the food grade one. And then also marula oil, like most people know marula yeah. oil, um, which is also the cosmetic grade. And then those I source from Kriya, mm-hmm. which is also a women co-op based here in Namibia. Oh, yes. Okay, so speaking about your products, I see a lot of them. You have different types of products here. Yes. What are the products that you have in here? The My product line is a unisex and multifunctional use product mm-hmm. line. So we have the hair spritz, which is fantastic for our dry, arid uh, Namibia. Mm. And then we have shampoos, we have conditioners, um, deep conditioner, which is also like the favorite that people really love. Um, we also have uh, hair growth oil, which then contains the Zimenia and the Marula and the Moringa um, aspect of it. Mm. And then we also have shea butter, of course. Of can't, course, we <laughs> can't go without that shea not butter. Shea butter. Um, and then we also have products for men as well. Mm-hmm. Um, the beard oil. We have the beard balm, which is not here right now it, uh, because we make it upon request. Oh, okay. And uh, the body oil as well. Mm-hmm. Yes. So, so where do you manufacture your products? Right here where we're sitting. Mm-hmm. So this is like our um, shop, but mm-hmm. also manufacturing space as well. And how long does it maybe take you to manufacture a product? Sure. It takes quite a while uh-huh. uh, because it is a process. I think we've uh, managed to cut the processing time in half. Um, but because everything is handmade, it's a little bit longer. And because there's like a lot of, of uh, processes that are involved, like the chemical aspect of it. Um, so for instance, a hair spritz will mm. take about two to three days. Yes, wow, that's long, eh? It is because it, it's you have to heat it and then you have to wait for it to cool down. and So it's quite a process for it to settle and so forth until the product is ready. Mm-hmm. Share butter is easier, you know, because you just um, melt it down a little bit and then you whip and if you need to add your oils. and But it's also like two days before mm-hmm. it's 100% ready. Oh, that's also quite a yes. long time. Yes. I see that, you know, the labeling on your products. Mm-hmm. Um, The labeling, do you also do it yourself or do you have like an external supplier that does the labeling for you? Or the packaging, the whole packaging, I must say. Uh, Well, the containers, for Mm -hmm. instance, that we receive from a South African-based company. Okay. Um, That's one of the challenges in the cosmetics industry that I think is faced um, throughout is the sourcing of packaging material um, that I think we still having conversations to see how we can actually have something here in Namibia yeah. because the market is is ready for that. And in terms of the labeling, well, we do that here, um, which also takes like a, a day or two as well. Uh, so I have a wonderful team who mm-hmm. assists me with all of these, mm-hmm. um, the entire production process. Perfect. You just yeah. spoke about your team. Yes. So with businesses and being an entrepreneur, one of the things you want to care of is unemployment rate. Mm-hmm. So. Um, how many team members do you have in your team and what are the roles that they play in African Naturals? So African Naturals is a very interesting uh, model. Mm-hmm. Currently, we take on interns okay. because I always believe in imparting knowledge and also helping them with their school and so forth. So they get practical um, teaching mm-hmm. basically here at African Naturals. But currently we do have, I think, four. Okay. We recently said bye to one of, of our interns yesterday. Mm. So she finished her contract, but yeah. yeah. So right now four, their roles are mostly um, assisting with formulations. So mm-hmm. I have two chemistry students from NEST. Um, so I'm also going to test them a little bit and see if they come up with their own formulas. Mm-hmm. And then I also have someone um, who's assisting me with um, administration and then of course my daughter. Okay. Who's been since, well, well she's <laughs> the brain. <laughs> yes, so she's always been like my production assistant, sales person, et cetera, et cetera. So, mm-hmm. yes. so did you, you said you were self-taught, but did, mm-hmm. did, at some point in your business, did you now take up cosmetology, like a course on that or? Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Um, I've been very fortunate to be part of the Cosmetics Association of Namibia, okay. um, where there's different interventions um, where we can go and learn about how to formulize cosmetics and things like that from cosmetic scientists. So I've had a few um, courses on training um, training for production of, of uh, cosmetic products, the formulas, mm-hmm. the scientific, scientific aspect of it. Mm-hmm. Um, what else was there? Yeah, and I'm currently doing an online course as well. Okay. So I can have, 
a degree in cosmetology wow. in terms of cosmetic science actually. Wow, that's so great. Yeah. Uh, let's talk pricing when it comes to the prices of your product. Mm -hmm. What factors do you look at before pricing a product? Um, I want my products, I've, I've had a bit of, of conversations with people, they're mm -hmm. like, oh, you're so cheap. <laughs> no, seriously, I saw your prices that I'm like, you're so cheap. I want it to be accessible. <laughs> okay. That's initially why I started the business. Mm -hmm. um, as much as it's a very niche market, because it's specifically for people who have natural hair, um, it's also open for everybody. So I don't want to make it a luxury brand yeah. that is not accessible for everyone because we all kind of face the same issues. So when I looked at my pricing strategy, I was looking at what is available in the market. Um, at that time, it wasn't a lot of products, especially mm. in, in terms of what we're doing, but I was looking at the South African market. And then also I factored in production costs, admin costs, and a few others. So I might have to increase my price. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they next year. But your prices are really, really good. Like yeah. most of your prices are like a hundred, hundred dollars. Yeah, I want people to be able to afford my products. Mm -hmm. yes. And 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 how do people get a hold of your products? Because you're right here in Vinduk. But let's say um, somebody, yeah, someone in Vinduk wants your product, or mm -hmm. outside Vinduk, or even outside Namibia. How yes. do they get hold of your products? So currently, we have a few um, partnerships mm -hmm. with with spe uh, special. Um, retailers, mm -hmm. right? So we have a salon in Maromo mm -hmm. that uses the products and sells them as well. So mm -hmm. we've had a partnership with them for the past four years. Wow. And um, we also retail at lo the local merchant, which is like a Namibian owned, Namibian based um, mm -hmm. like market, basically, mm -hmm. that showcases Namib strictly Namibian products. Um, and I love that partnership as well because they also do pop ups and so they get to expose themselves and our product range as well. And then we also do Korea. We have mm -hmm. an online, so we also believe in e-commerce. Okay. So we also have um, an online store where people can buy the products. WhatsApp business as well. Like you can literally find us anywhere. Mm -hmm. um, and then for those who are not in Vintuk per se, we um, recently partnered with uh, Nawa Pharmacy. Okay. which is based in Oshakati. Yeah. So yes. I'm really excited about that to That's just get some feedback and see yeah. how the products are doing there. And then we also have a store in um, Sokopmont, Natural Namibia store. Mm -hmm. So they have like strictly natural products and they um, store our products there as well. And yeah, we do career options, like I said. Mm -hmm. And then for those outside of Namibia, so generally what happens is I have a few customers outside, like in Europe and the States. Oh. And um, so we'll do like bulk orders and then we send them through. Oh. Like DHL or mm -hmm. someone, yeah. Okay. Uh, the payment method, how mm -hmm. does one pay for the products? Because there are people who are like strictly cash or yeah. how does yours work? Well, like I said, I'd like people to have access to our products. Mm -hmm. So we do accept all forms of, of payment. Um, there are certain customers that we've built relations over the years and mm -hmm. then I like, take the product and then they, they pay. And so it's it's very much a open source kind of payment method. So uh, EFT, all the wallets. I know yeah. there's some business that are like, no, no blue wallets. wallets. And I'm like, I only have blue wallets. <laughs> um, so yes, it's, uh, yeah, we make it accessible to everyone. Mm -hmm. yes. So when you first launched your brand, your products, mm -hmm. how did the public take it? Were they receptive towards your products mm -hmm. or... Oh yeah, absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. It's that's why I'm still yes. <laughs> in this business. That's the thing that keeps me going to see that the products actually work. Um, it's not just uh, the sake making products for sake of making products and making mm -hmm. money, but that the reviews that I get back is oh my hair is growing or my skin has become healthier. So. Um, Although it's not such a massive, massive market, mm -hmm. it still really caters to the initial needs of people. Mm -hmm. yeah. And um, I wanted to ask you now, in, in terms of finances, mm -hmm. how much money do you have to invest for you to start this business? Because that's what every person would want to know. Wow, uh, it's always a tricky question <laughs> because I self-finance strictly, uh -huh. um, which is very, very challenging on its own because I have a full-time job. And that basically finances my business. Mm -hmm. um, but we are grateful that we're able to have sales and different in interventions 
So whenever there's opportunities that present themselves, I always apply for funding. Okay. Um, so as an example, um, during COVID, um, everyone wanted sanitizers. I think we yes. also like there was like the rush of sanitizers, and there were all, like thousand sanitizers on the market. <laughs> um, but we also took opportunity for that. So we mm. were making our own sanitizers. And we got a very nice contract from GIZ to oh. disseminate sanitizers throughout the country. Oh, that is amazing. Yes. So there's always different opportunities that present themselves that mm. we look at how to make a bit of money. But if someone wanted to start a cosmetics business, I would say save up a little bit, do some research. There's so many different interventions, especially mm -hmm. in the cosmetics sector right now. Yeah. Um, if you're able to join the cosmetics network, that's probably the best way to get your mar your products on the market because then you can participate in different mm. expos, mm. Um, travel at a discounted rate, sometimes yes. for free. Wow. Uh, yes, to all these different countries like we did in 2018 in Egypt for the first Inter-Africa Trade Fair. Mm. And so, yeah, there's a lot of opportunities to not only network but also mm -hmm. to garner some funds for your business as well. Mm. Yeah. And every business faces challenges. What are some of the challenges that you faced like throughout this journey until now? Money. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a constant because <laughs> you make money, but then I'm like, okay, I need uh -huh. to pay my team. Yeah. I need to buy raw material and things like that. So that's always kind of at the back of my mind, mm -hmm. um, which I think is, is just a normal yeah, it's very thing for entrepreneurs. Um, but one of the biggest challenges or advice I would give other entrepreneurs, especially in the cosmetic sector, please, please, please do your research before you start. Because there's nothing worse than starting mm -hmm. and then realizing, oh, I didn't follow these standards, or I didn't comply with this and this and this, especially with something as sensitive as cosmetics or even in the food industry. Yeah. So first do your research before you start your business. And if you can get the education to back that up, you're, yes, you're good to go. Still. So that would be, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of different challenges. Like I had shared before, the mm -hmm. packaging is definitely one of the challenges. Okay. If we don't have packaging, it's like, okay, mm. then I have to like ask around and, and it can become, it can really start influencing the business negatively. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, yeah, we just push through. Yeah. You spoke influencing the, the business negatively. Yes. You also spoke about good reviews, yeah. but you also get bad reviews. Yes. So how do you deal with the bad reviews? A funny story, mm -hmm. a few years ago, I had a lady who bought one of like the hibiscus mask. So mm -hmm. before we, we no longer make them, okay. uh, but back then we would make them and people really loved them. And this lady contacted me, she's like, this thing is not working and she's just going off mm. on me. And I was like, okay, generally how I tend to deal when customers are a bit agitated, yeah. I first want to like, okay, how did you use the product? Because unfortunately, a lot of us don't read. <laughs> We're Which is true. <laughs> We're just like, oh, okay, it looks like this. So this is how I'm going to use it. Yeah. So it turned out was this lady was applying a hair mask daily on her hair. Okay. Like hair food. And she didn't oh. rinse it off. So, of course, the hair was stiff and it was pink because the <laughs> <in> this <laughs> mask was pink. Um, but, yeah, that was a funny story. So mm -hmm. I just... Told her, no, you actually have to rinse it off after each use. Um, and if we do get a uh, complaint or, or something, yeah. I always try and rectify it and say, mm -hmm. okay, um, do I have to customize? We, have, we do have some customers that we customize certain products who have allergies and things like mm -hmm. that so that they still enjoy the product yeah. without the negative side effects. Okay. So they always like to deal with it diplomatically. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Go going back to the finances, yeah. there are entrepreneurs who believe that you shouldn't pay yourself. Mm -hmm. Do you pay yourself? And if yes, why do you pay yourself? And if no, why do you think you don't pay? <laughs> why do you think you shouldn't pay yourself? Um, it's yeah. I think it's a continuous conversation. Mm -hmm. I think in the beginning when I started off, I didn't feel that I deserved to get what I put out. Yeah. And. Um, one of my mentors um, was like, you can't, you know, you, you just can't do that. So two things that we've established within the business that I've realized really does bring more money. I mm -hmm. don't know how it works. I just know it works. Okay. Um, the one is even if I don't pay myself cash money, I would either take my team out maybe, you know, and like, like an appreciation yeah. kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, 
or I would, um, yeah, like appreciation, or I, I've not paid myself in a bit, so I'm trying to think of when was yeah. the last time, but it is something that I am keen on practicing more. Mm -hmm. The second thing is also corporate social responsibility. So towards the end of the year, um, we always say, okay, which um, entity or project needs assistance, even if it's 500 bucks or 1,000 bucks or something, that we can afford, mm -hmm. that we always bring, uh, give back to the community. Oh, that is so amazing. Yes, that it's something cool. that I've realized. I'm like, oh, okay. This when you when you give, you, you also you receive. Get, you also yeah. receive. So it's something we, we practice here as well. Oh, that's wonderful. And you spoke about the deep condition of being like your best-selling product. Yeah, one of them. One of them. What is the other one? The best-selling product is definitely the hair spritz. Okay. Um, because it all hair types can use it. If your hair is relaxed, if it's in braids, a man, child, woman, everybody can use it. So it's a very multifunctional, uh, multi-use tool as well. Um, I've also heard from some of my very um, experimental customers that mm -hmm. they've applied it to their skin. They're like, oh, this is this works as well. Okay. I'm like, okay, that's, that's interesting. So mm -hmm. that's definitely the, the best seller. And then secondly would be the hair growth oil because clearly um, it Everybody helps wants it. Yes, long hair. Day, exactly. <laughs> and then the shea butter is definitely like a staple in the product line. Because the shea butter is it for the hair and yes. the, the skin yes. the skin as well. Mm -hmm. So what is like your vision for African naturals? Like expanding your business or what is your vision? Yeah, I'm in the process of looking at export opportunities. So that's definitely where I want to be at. And then also, with the help of my team, mm -hmm. I would like to see if we can get into local stores mm -hmm. um, as well. Yeah. So there's a lot of opportunity there. So we've had Thanks. some conversations. Mm -hmm. And hopefully next year, cross fingers, yeah. <laughs> that will be on you. Namibian shelves in mm -hmm. um, your checkers and your spars and your pick and pays and shop right and everything. So oh. that's where we're headed. We are keeping the fingers crossed. Yes, as well. and toes and everything. <laughs> Everything that we can cross. Yes. <laughs> and what are your trading hours? Our uh, trading hours, mm -hmm. um, generally during the week, it's from 8 to 6. Mm -hmm. So people can reach me on WhatsApp. That's like the easiest or online. Mm -hmm. um, we don't keep the workspace open during the week because we have, like I said, I have a full-time yeah. job and mm -hmm. uh, my team are studying as well. So Whenever we're available, we, we usually Saturdays, Saturday mm -hmm. mornings, we mm -hmm. kind of get together, we do production, we have our little meetings, and yeah, we plan for the week ahead. Okay. Yes. You as an entrepreneur who's established and who's mm -hmm. growing, mm -hmm. I want you to talk to someone who wants to be an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. but they're so afraid of starting and they don't know how and where to start. So maybe you can just talk to them by looking to that camera. Oh, okay. Yes. Um, what would I say to a younger me? I would mm -hmm. say absolutely do it. You have nothing. You might have to lose a few dollars. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but at the end of the day, it really is worth it. It's a thing that can get your family out of poverty, that can get you out of poverty and um, really establish you within the world market. So whatever it is that you want to do, I would say just go for it. You have nothing to lose. There are so many different resources out there now, mm -hmm. and um, you can always reach out to different mentors as well. There's mentor networks, so you really don't have to do this by yourself. Yes. All right. Thank you so much for That's that advice. Um, but before I let you go, tell me, how has this business impacted your life? It has impacted on a personal level. Mm -hmm. I definitely am more health conscious because of what I put on and in my body. So that has helped my health, actually. Um, I was suffering from a few health issues in mm -hmm. the past. And also it has helped my family as well. And I'm really, like, I know I say this a lot, mm -hmm. but the fact that I can work with young people is, like, literally where the root of the business is. So I always have different young people come in mm. and out and learn. And then I just see when they've re left African Naturals, just how they have fared in life, and it's really beautiful to see. Yeah, impacting so, their lives. Eh? Yeah, that is literally at the root of it. Okay. Yes. So where can people find you, your socials? Um, they can find me on my website, uh, mm -hmm. www.africannaturalsnam.com. Mm -hmm. um, social media on Facebook 
and Instagram at African Naturals Namibia. Really that simple. And your WhatsApp number? Because you keep saying your WhatsApp, ah, WhatsApp, WhatsApp. I don't want WhatsApp. people to call me. <laughs> okay, then we won't call you. Then we won't but call all you. my contact details are on there as mm -hmm. well. Yeah, so they are more than than um, happy to contact me. All right. Yes. Okay. Thank you so it's so much pleasure. for the you know for the honor to interview you, yes. and we can't wait to have a you know a, a talk with your team as well and just yes. see them in action. Yes. But lovely. we wish you all the best. Thank you so much. All right. Thank awesome. you. All right, folks, that's all we had for you today on Africa Speaks as we sat down with Zodidi. So please come make your way this side. Wait, you didn't tell me where you are situated. <laughs> so people don't come in by here? They do. Okay. Yes, we are currently situated at A15, mm -hmm. Bogamoso Entrepreneurial Center, mm -hmm. and uh, we are incubated here. Okay. So, yes. All right, thank you. All right, folks, that's all we had for you on Africa Speaks. So we are down with Zodidi, and thank you so much for the insight. So I'm telling you, if you are around Vinduk and you need her product, you can come, like, the place she just mentioned, or you can go to her socials. I know you want your hair looking good and fly and healthy and voluminous. She's your girl. And I'll see you next time. Promise, Sage and Zodidi right here, and her team, adios. <laughs>